My Northern Achiever is proudly brought to you by Bonzal Rural Bank Limited, Unity, Strength, and Wealth. The movers and the shakers in the, in the consultative assembly. I am a native of Dabo. Go back to the old Quran for solutions. Now there's a full animal shout of that. And you know more after Nasr Imam Mahmoud Al Hadi, you know Imam Mahmoud Al Shah. Tomorrow's responsibilities will be greater. The name you can be sure emanated. So why not join me at the Jalil Nabeli, the son of Musa Kumo, at my guests and I throw you to life changing stories. Mare, <laughs> Zobars <laughs> Bonne <coughs> What I'm saying is, we are going to do today's program in two folds. The first part of it is going to be Dagbani, where we would showcase the culture of Dagbong, because the guest today is a chief, um, not just any chief, a chief, a warrior. And so we need to actually acknowledge that fact of his life. And then after, we will now come back into English and complete or conclude the uh, program for today with English. So I think we are going to come back and we are going to go to the next one. We are going to go to the next one. Uh, Alaji Dr. Alasan Andani Mbala Ankara Old Nayilu Dundong Zongli Kati Shiyamu Chief Amar Hawi Mboyeza So 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 So
mbala zongo dunda wale sagara tivi zoto katu kwa mpulwe kwa bwa ya pisho la nia nilo pambia na mbala karashi tumare kambia kanya la banka nita mbala pisho la nye stambik bank zasa mkubia ratuni kati kwa tia mbwa nia namuma alo kukilu mbe ajana di lore mchanto da namuma Nta angera lunsoma ma de bumpun tobo lunsoma de yeri atua shala. Denka ane nyeka de de lapsa ambu habu shala mama. Ma yeye yele nema shere. Lo bang bumbu de yaman te 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 yana mbala. Kwa bumbu zakuola zambangle. Ndi zote ni yeye yele tusha tunone amati yele pogi. Ehe ndi zote lunsoma na pungia shala ma ngomkami ya dagba na. Umbamba shadam verti, tenembe zana, umbamba shad, tenembe mile. Ente aswa yule boka tena kati ala kambari, yale pisho la ala sana, danda zana la arichana tu da pisho. Ente aswa yule amna abanu na kambari, lonsi na yelesa, deka na mwalendi shida shali. Kuna mama cha atoponi ya kambari, an ingi sina shali folo. Dzo yapamka tu yundi isha wa karmala kama ni mula galenda wa abe sasa kafuza alavna. Dlo kuingia ba abara kuzu la dia kupfuni tenbe shamu b. لا شري بلا شري زعم الله وزو سانا كا أنت لا جاءوا فيني يا كاجسنا ولا كابسلي بجاءوا. تأ أبوه يتوه دم أنشل يشل ما يوم مالني يا دم سألت بس أنا من كوزين تفيا ماني يي ناتيج أنجي شابولنا بانفم كبدوام برادر لا بانفم كبدوام بانفم كان ده بانفم ما هالي هتبقى ما تيجي سكان تدي سانارو كتير بانفم لاب سانارو. Dila sana rugu, ni mana kambi halti chang primary school, ni chang middle school, kaya ni mana chang gana kule secondary school, ni gana kule secondary school, kana tamasuko six form, ni yeye shangwa zaa, dagbang biyo kutoa namba shakamda nami, ni chang na ponza na nzam, halti chwe class one, halti chwe class one wakabu ni peto bihe pinswala. Atu kuye ni makari vila nebe sukuru ni makari ye Inche nde sukuru Ala nkana kafulo kache de pietu bila Nzo gwenda ngele bwale Kapa taa cha mpuna kati tuku Kapa taa cha nkati cha warmware Nkana tuku warmware Gasa sa sa mvaru warmware taama Nkaku jiru taama maka dulu vyara Kakana ntusu kwa mnache na sukura maabia nsube ni chibu Kache nkata wakaa yuwa bimi kutu ya ushari Ula kabi ntuwe ya Anjiu ulo tukbani Ula wakati mbea hali Na namba za wakati Na pon za wakati mkuchena Hali tina mkoma entrance Nita nina mkoma entrance Gana za kapasi Kazi bititi leta kanchang Gana college Mpala gana college ni chop box Nina pon za Kana naba kumuwa kui Ndipu mpua watama nina Pali kaso kamdama Da anya la parishare Ara anya kuta mpashare Tak mungkin orang orang tu kongko kaku tada bi. Kerja tu saya ni lah perjal. Kau panas tu kau kau tu kau muka man sukses jah kau sura. Eh apa la? Eh kau ini kau kau mampu sura bi. Anak kau yang bukan orang yang biasa. Oh oh saya cuci. Kau kau tu kau fuman boy. Why your sandals? Ni number bi. Tanya number bi box mana. Kau lad target. Tanya saya man kubi tu. Tu sa box. Ya mungkin na mama na man tu orang tu. Munda impio orang yang mana tu ihele. Chop box, kuzang oil paint za blue, mpaintle, kwa 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 nusukuru ni manenga shere, kuzang nde pune, kaza na tuzanza, kaza mangu bingo tide, kama ndo ngoko, oyole, yeye kula bumbu nchi, pata pata, yuko bumbu nchi, bathroom slippers, to binda ni anamda, kwa dusa ba ba na drabu di yule, drabu di yule, ba na bila eh robber na meka ba silo robber ma, kuchele, kaza nusu ontenga, kaza na watu dene, kache. Tak kuli chang sukuru kaku na tak kuli holiday lama, ha, dengan niat menom pune, tu tu mana niat share sambang kualbu, tu gula kaya nang kaya mad madu sambang nabi dar beri kehijauan di tidiam, eh, yuk kuli kata ni kamna, kata ada ke bu sambang kansi, ini kau gus sambang maza niol abu, kena bayi yang nasham, zaman wahyu yang tulu, kata yang tu bu mohon dan tu tu wahma dom Zohar nabi ya sedih de de tablo. Tapi saya macam macam pun, pun pun ni cuma pun. Nabi buat macam dah yang snap jawab. Walaupun snap jawab, mana dia snap jawab. Amat macam macam. 
Okay. <laughs> University of Ghana. Like Canada University of Ghana until 1918. In Canada University of Ghana. Okay, so, uh, University of Ghana with agriculture, economics, and everything. Okay, so, I will be uh UG. Yeah. In terms of national service. national service. national service, social security bank. Okay. SSB bank. national service. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Bizoye 
inta paade an taalo sha tuma doro no tisu an ko illa aya targa ssb mama hal bukara zan biyar tuni ka wura so din kara ko hal in tutoji standard bank in kana gana ka don ye ban sha dan in yi ana in tire chaka na won chaka paade an taalo sha tuma eh yahu don wona soro pam ya bihago ni hankale ka zan so santan kamin yam da bane ne yam ya ne 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 yunan malu eh ka dan ka yan zan tun chief national service ai pagi sha bangayen nan sham har manyin na university kakana to amin ban tun da kabu bin ya kwambu ma ban na bi chan university o number din ka yan nan ka bi zan babban san ma an wuha kar number din ba kuma ne bi zan wuha da nan sham in tun ga buton ga bi chama amma bi bi zan wuha akwai to ban ga na ta gar buton so number din ka yan zan nan ka bazan da ban san nan ya san zan wa har ban biya to ne ba za na university ka kana ta biya tumama na ma ah din yara yu ka so kan bon ya ne mi da goro ce sai a zan hankal santan a ban ayyan nan nan bon ne jilma shale zan ta nirba ka bazan ba ban san nan ya san ma tumama shale zan wa yan ba za zan so santan a ka bon le ta inda be ssb mun kan da mi mi ma ssb ma dana mun kunna ba ka tantu su ne ba fara ba tuntu ma ka ta fara nan ma ka zan tuma kan kunan ta jin yun da sa ba lightin da wa fulaka yan yo madina eh madina ma ba da sa inda kan mamandu mun kan yaran da man mamanda kan mamandu inda ba madina da aji mun ka la da gbara ka ce yilma ti ti ka ta tupurpurdu ma ti su ma sha da na bude di pan ka bebe bebe ma nam sana ka be pidu titi eh alaji mun kare yan da wannan madina da ba wannan ne kan da bi eh in ba ni ma ne ka kan tuku da nan kan da kan mamal o gbe ni to da de in de ni to your rent eh kan ma bi mu ma zo ka bi tuma duni ma ne kan bi de ka bi ka bi ban kan ne yon yon kan ne eh inta inta te na national service kan ma yuma yi sunsu ne ara chan to ba ssb ban tuma ma ngun yele en yulna yana da fune to laraka to ku guba halin zo soro soro har tin yi nimanin ta tin yan yi har ka tutun mal pa ko ku kuge tin da dushe ma ku to de tra chan to balam te 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 na hang so bene habiba na man to zo mun da zo boys quarters do tan tuma kan ka ti mal ma boys quarters ma ta men pa ke nimanin da ba ba ko ko do ai da za ka na kan in ka lo da din ne to yin your rent ka tun da banke ne don zo be sha kam ka ya bude in pasoro ka in ban in ban chende in zan so zo ai bo yon yon an falu da ban me ne zo lo won bo de yon an kulan di yalla ka de an ba lo na ji te won sa su go din ka de de tu ne presenti da ban za nan ban yinda da ba ba le tin ye su ge she ngo ma ka te pante ma ka te pense le ka cheta vie yel ka ka da ban chantoni ka te tu za sa chantoni za yin na gban yin man din ko nyala cheta pasoro na taba euh pam soro pam na taba euh ma pa tu mi ma na ban kan wana so won kan wana da ban ba ba yel te ban kan ba yel te won kan wana ka da yuge so pum pum ta lam maka bi ne ban kan wana ban kan wana wana da biyam na jilma da da pu ne he ka ci ara ku ri in gar ci ada ka bana dan ya bi abure to ngun kan la nan ba amma tin lam ta ba dan le ban kan la na to me tin pala la she ta pala ta ba suru pam eh bi bi pola bi ne yer ya to a shanga dan dat ne ba suru dan zo mani ya she ne la ta pa ma suru ne la la ya to tula ngo ma ta ba ne tun madra jani amma da malukar malma na won pam so kam soro na won pam so kam soro ka ce ka ta zan ta hankaya gata ba tunin bede ta bira dagban ka ban ba sha'abu puma ka ba tuma ka ba simin simin su sane idan zo ba za hammi ba sha jilma ba na won zan jilma sha zan ti dagban ba nan ba yin ga kan su ma in ce ka dagban lam ya ga pam ka ti bi san ba ne anan ko bin je to ashe ne kaptu ba ne da ba ne nya ha ko kaptu ba ne tudu pole ka yi na ma tu amma eh ya don zo de ne nya la eh don zo de bi zanya la ka ban be nyam ngara bi ne 
amatun belang tama, so tapi belang tama ngomong ada aku ni lah gansa indun dua ma, so gansa ma malia, paham lo suruh nanti apa, kalam apa. Eh, dengan dia sempat sekarang TV main orang nak cium aku agak mau, tapi ni ingat aku kisah orang Allah jadi doktor Allah senang dani, bela orang yang angkara, orang sampai nak cuci orang. Kasihan saya pun muka pucat tu fukam kalau nak cium lah, nasi lau cium. Aziz ada yang belum belum kita dapat. Entah ni tak belum kita mahu belajar ni. Kerana cium belum belajar. Karena cium alfa alfa kalau belajar belajar. Tapi macam mana belajar ni? Alfa alfa mahu belum kita mahu tabel. Saya pulak. Dah saya dah belajar kerana kita tabel kerja. Mesti belajar pun dia belum belajar. Kalau semua masya Allah, tahu kalau tu ada belajar mahu belajar. Nana mahu belajar. Tiap contoh tu Islam Islam ambil belajar ni. Zaman tu eh, kan yang ni dunia saya asal ni yang di. Yang anda ni, apa ni? Share. Tuk butuh fokus mak kalau orang mara kita nak bangun dengan zahir bangun film itu dengan tabrak. Fokus modul nak kuat anjo. Agak pun pun cuma bangun zahir tujuh account. Kami bangun dah bilu. Insyaallah, orang ini betul betul dah bilu pam. Insya Allah semua kumur ini pisah nombor. Kami bangun dah dah bangun. Benda tu yang susu sihir anu buruk. Manfaat yang ada. Benda tu yang susu lekar kerja dulu kan wujud kau yang wujud. Jadi apa mak ayuh bangun zahir account. Kamin bana nda bilu. Tuk butuh fokus kalau nanti lah insyaallah. Tuk zaman tu dah zaman mama zaman tu. Dia cangkat lah. Bonne Aja bonsai, ayam lekam nengmad. Bonsai rula bank. Bonsai rula bank. Abang pamer ni kaya. Tak ni ni betul ayam ba. Tu suh barang itu baga. Kasihan pi tu asa. Bonsai rula bank dia tu ni mana zuma garu yang pesen bela. Benda jen fasu b inti su amana. Tu rezo ni tu cakap tu ayam gar alire. Zom zom zom. Ini bonsai bank beranci syarikat merani. B ka ayam betul tu muda kami dah pilih dah bilgu. Bonsai rula bank mal account ni mana? Kamal current account, savings account, salary account, wallet account, hard account, zabuni account, corporate account, abijida and shell account, ni pay fixed deposit account. Bela cenderung lapang dah bela kamar individual loan, salary loan, wash loan, microfinance group, salary advance, ni dem papa. Kena ini, wanzai mal SMS alert, ATM, kamar GH link, Easyrich, Western Union, ni MoneyGram, ni tu cak kamil be tung dia ni. Kan tu zaman lara ni nak kau cuba wanzai ni tu jele. Apex link, kena ini mobile money. Kalau tu cak wanzai rumah bank branch kampung ni, tu cak insang a mobile money account ni jele ori. Wanzai mal branch ni nampun bung tamale, nama show, naya, karga. Niyafala sang charkone Katuma duzu una alebe kumbo Wa ima buwanza uwe bank limite tangal mehimo zoo Mosquito le la dunga Mvlende mtwane Mopoti nende nya kompi My Northern Achiever is proudly brought to you By Bonza Rural Bank Limited Unity, Strength and Wow Thank you so very much for staying on with me on my Northern Achiever on Sagani TV. I am Abdul Jalil and Abdul Hassan of Musa Kumo. We have had a, the bonus session with uh, Pishola, the Alhaji Dr. Alassan and Danny. Now, Chief, we are back from the break and um, I want us to come to talk a little more about your work experience from SSB Bank then to all the other work jobs that you have taken so that at least we can begin to open you and get to know more about you so you in the Bani, you had told us about how you started your primary through to ghana school then to another senior school then you went to uh, the university of ghana now how long did it take you at ssb before you moved to study again okay so as i said i did national service in ssb and uh, that's a social security bank okay. it was essentially a development bank and with the development bank, which is at the time, there, was, there were development banks, merchant banks, and commercial banks. Yes. And development banks, uh, till today, everywhere around the world, are more focused on long, medium, longer term project financing. And, and therefore, uh, for me, it was a great opportunity uh, to get into more development economics and more development financing. Uh, gave me great opportunity to study uh, project project analysis 
and the beauty of it is that you could we could we cut across all sectors of the economy and and therefore you actually had the opportunity to, to learn right from the project conception to formulating the project to going through detailed feasibility both economic and financial analysis and uh, to determine viability and then go on to financing wow. and then uh, you go through the phases of disbursing disbursing the loan monitoring it all the way to close out and also monitoring for recovery. Yeah. So for me, it was, it was a great learning experience. And I did SSB. The other thing which happened to me quickly in SSB was in 1987, I was transferred to Bulga, uh, where I took my first managerial job at age 27. Yeah. I was the regional project wow. manager for development finance for SSB in Bulga. Uh, that time, it was the Upper East region. Mm -hmm. It was not Upper East yeah. and Upper West. It was just Upper East region, the capital in Bulga. Mm -hmm. And therefore, for all the SSB's development work in that larger uh, Upper East region, uh, or what they call Upper region, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so that took me up to 1991, okay. 1991. Then I got back to Accra. Uh, it was interesting coming back to Accra. I came in as the secretary to what they call the General Loans Committee. Okay. Now, the GLC was um, the top decision-making uh, body in the bank that approved all the all financing, all re requests for finance. It was chaired by the managing director, his deputy, and all the sectional heads. Okay, and I was made a secretary. Great learning, you know, because you brought these reports, secreted it, and as they critiqued it, and by which time you were, you were just about thirty one. I don't, then was uh, this is 1991. I was just about 30, 31. Yeah. And uh, so that was again a great, great experience to learn from the masters. And at the time, SSB as a development finance organization recruited, you know, minimum was. Before you continue, yeah. you know, rising from the project manager in Bulga all the way to the secretary of the GHL. Yeah. You yeah, know, GLC. GLC. The General Loans Committee. Yeah. General Loans Committee, yeah. yes, yes. Now, Sometimes people think that uh, you would have to know somebody in a big bank like SSB then before you are given such a position. Was it that you knew someone in there or your hard work took you there? I didn't know anybody. And thank God, literally everybody who I worked for as a senior or a colleague, they're all still alive and they'll be work watching this uh, uh, interview. And I worked extremely hard. I worked extremely hard. I read, I studied. Uh, for me, SSB was a continuation of the university, uh, you know, because wow. there was so much to learn. And, and, and whatever you learned, you're able to see it practically roll out. Mm -hmm. you, you actually put a project report together, and it was finance, and you saw the implementation, and you saw the end result. And you actually went to try and collect the money back for the bank. So for me, it was absolutely hard work, diligence. And, and a lot of support. I mean, SSB was very collegiate, you know, so most of them were prepared to share and to, for you to learn with them and uh, get coached by them. And I still revere uh, my, my, my seniors and colleagues in SSB. But I always say in my career, I learned banking in SSB. I learned banking in SSB. I mean, when I was living in SSB, there was very little in terms of retail or investment corporate banking that I didn't learn wow. and that took me all the way to 1991 when they gave me my scholarship to go and do my master's okay. in banking and finance. Which Again, university in, was that? That was in uh, in Italy, uh, Bocconi, it was uh, Brescia University put together an MBA, a master's in banking and finance in Milan, Italy okay. and um, it was fully funded by the Italian government wow. yes and uh, so that's why I went to really as it were pull it all together uh, as 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 a uh, so after the masters, yeah. you came back to Ghana, right? Yeah. Mm. And where did you continue from there? So when I got back uh, from Italy, this was just shortly before the ninety two elections. You know, I I, I felt uh, yeah, I'd kind of uh, acquired new skills. Was very keen to continue to do my work. Uh, I got back to SSB. It's still an exciting place. But I was taken back to do exactly what I was doing before I left, you know, and I'm quite, uh, I can be quite ambitious and... It, so, it, it, it didn't present you a new challenge. It didn't present me a new challenge, precisely. So, and I remember a, a kind of conversation, uh, I went back to becoming, the, to still being the secretary to a general loans committee. And um, 
I, I remember collected a conversation between the, myself and the then deputy managing director of the bank to say, oh, we, we understand when people come back with this kind of masters, they expect to be promoted. And mm. so what are your expectations? I said, well, you have said it. So all I'm looking for is a challenge. Mm. But as it is, you know, and everything is providence, I, the challenge wasn't coming. And I saw an advert in the papers um, said an international financial institution was looking for corporate business manager. And um, I applied. It was an advertiser's number. So, you know, it's just a number, care, uh, graphic corporation. Yeah. So I wrote that letter. And as fate will have it, um, I got a response. Uh, it was in the response, I realized that it was Standard Chartered Bank wow. that was looking for a corporate business manager. So I went to, um, I, I applied. I mean, of course, the interview uh, invited me for the interview. And um, yeah, and I got your first experience yeah. at SSB. Uh, exactly. Yeah, so it was easy to get the job. It was easy, but I tell you sometimes, again, just for learning colleagues and how you move forward. So I remember very clearly when I got the, um, uh, the application, the, le the, the letter to inviting me for the, uh, for the interview. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, this Standard Chartered Bank. I've never been inside Standard Chartered Bank before. Wow. Yeah, I, I mean, SSB was quite top of his game. Yeah. So we're all very proud to be yeah, exactly. uh, SSB. Uh, you know. So yes. I went to ask a colleague who we had met at Gimpa. We had, we had gone to Gimpa for a program. Mm -hmm. So I met a couple of colleagues there who were working for Standard Chartered Bank. And I went to ask them, oh, there's this advert that... Um, uh, I've been invited to come interview for a corporate business manager. I think two of them were quite were seniors to me in the university, okay. and uh, they said, "Oh no!" And they were working in SSB. They said, "No, no, no! This is a very senior position. That's not meant for you." Mm -hmm. Again, so that's a censorship. Yeah. Number one, never let somebody censor you, and wow. don't censor yourself. Go for what is your potential. I was a bit upset. I said, well, if the people in the HR or the bank realize it was not big, they asked for qualifications and set of experience, mm. and they felt I met, I met the criteria. That's why they invited me for this interview. Anyway, so I ignored them and then went for the interview. And um, yes, then I got employed. Wow. It was when I was given the position that I realized why they had censored themselves and held themselves back. Because uh, I was literally, in terms of seniority probably third in line after the level of seniority of the managing director of the bank. Wow. And this was a very young boy coming from SSB. And indeed, I was probably one of the first local people to be employed from a local bank into SSB. Most of them were probably just recruited straight from school and trained. But I was one of the first managers, senior managers, to be pulled from another bank into SSB. Wow. So I got in as a corporate business manager uh, initially okay. uh, in 1993. Yeah, that was in 1993. I joined Standard Chartered Bank. Wow. So and the journey, the journey began. The journey began. I mean, I think, as I said, I learned banking in, in, in uh, SSB. SSB and Standard put me to work. Wow. So Standard uh, took me to Kumasi as the Deputy Regional Manager for Corporate Business Banking. Uh, I must say that there are very few companies and very uh, few establishments in the Kumasi greater area that I, I don't know. So we covered all the timber mining companies. That time, Guinness had their head office in Kumasi, and we provided lines of credit for Guinness. Uh, uh, I think Kumasi Brewery was also still in Kumasi. Uh, we, we literally were sort of uh, running around riots in Kumasi and building a very solid corporate book. And, um, and this was all coming from the training that I had brought across from SSV. And of course, uh, then I, I think we built a, a fantastic portfolio. Yeah. Then I was rapidly from, I went to Kumasi in 93 uh, to December 95. Then I was transferred back to Accra yeah. as the regional manager in charge of corporate banking. And Accra covered Accra Tema. So again, most of the domestic companies. I mean, I, I was regional manager domestic corporates. So that in, in, in included all the state-owned enterprises, um, uh, local companies, Accra Tema, you know. So, and I had a team of, I think, about 12 relationships. I think there's a need for us to get this clarification. Is Standard Bank the same as Standard Chartered Bank? No, Standard Bank is not the same as Standard Chartered Bank. So what happened? You know, you were, you were in Standard Bank. Yes. I so was in standard chartered. Standard chartered then. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then, so as I said, so again, uh, stellar performance. We really did a great job building a solid 
corporate banking portfolio for Standard Chartered. Okay. I was there from 93 to 2000, okay. year 2000. Okay. Then in April 2000, I was headhunted into Barclays Bank. Okay. Yeah, so I, I, I went to Barclays Bank in uh, April 2000 as the executive director for corporate and business banking. Okay. Uh, corporate, yeah, corporate banking. Wow. Corporate and investment and banking. Yes. How many years did you spend there at Barclays Bank? I was in Barclays from April 2000 again to April 2006. Wow. And you know, I think it was a phenomenal six years I spent in, in, in Barclays. So in 2004, I was also made the Deputy Managing Director uh, of the bank as, alongside my job as uh, Executive Director for Corporate Banking. And um, yeah, I think whatever, uh, we, we built a solid portfolio in Barclays. Sure. And I, I'm proud sure. to say sure. that sure. now APSA, sure. they're still... Uh, they're still riding on the the, the, you know, the building I, blocks that we have. I, I usually call you my my governor of the Bank of Ghana. <laughs> we will come to talk about that and a, a yes, lot more yes. when 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 we get to uh, the tail end of the interview. But then, um, is it does it mean therefore that after your masters mm -hmm. in banking and finance yeah. uh, in Italy, yes. you never went for any other certificates? No, so. Um, in 1970, sorry, 1980, 90, 1999, okay. I was in Fontainebleau, in Africa, and uh, sorry, uh, INSEAD. Okay. So INSEAD is one of the top uh, European universities. I went to INSEAD to do international management okay. uh, at INSEAD. And I've been around the world, several schools, okay. uh, to, to study. Wow. I was in Oxford Said Business School to do uh, business strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been to... MIT to do um, IT management and future fit growth strategy. So we've, we've, we've gone. I, I ask this question because I would want to know how relevant these certificates are, especially when you really are comfortably working. Sometimes it is very normal amongst, especially with the younger ones, to think that, well, I have arrived. I am the head of social and so in social and so bank, so there's no need for me to go for any other certificates. How relevant are these certificates when we are already? I think there's nothing called comfortably working. You cannot be comfortably working. Work is work is uh, if you're working in a dynamic organization, uh, you're supposed to be challenging the status quo, pushing the envelope for growth. So comfortably working is just doing the same things. No, 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 that's not comfortable working. Eh? And for most of the organizations, uh, if the organization is looking to grow, and yourself, you're looking to grow. And for me, I was given the, the challenge very early, whether it was in S. Stanchard or Barclays or in Stambic Bank, given the challenge to take the organization to another level. You cannot be comfortably work, learn, working. You are very uncomfortably challenged. And therefore, you have to continuously learn uh, in order to be able to take the organization to where it has to go. And the good thing about work is that the aspirations of stakeholders, especially your shareholders, never end. And they have, comp they, have, they have alternatives where they can take their money to. So you have to keep pushing this envelope and returning good uh, results in order to... Uh, to, 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 to. So is, is Barclays yeah. the, the last job you had before Stanbic Bank? Uh, yes, so Barclays, I was in Barclays, uh, as I said, I was transferred to South, South Africa. Uh, I think that was the tail end of 2004, 2005, where I was director for what they call non-presence countries. So I was doing coverage work for our investment banking business, where I covered countries like, you know, Mozambique, Nigeria, uh, Angola, uh, Ethiopia, Senegal, uh, countries like where we did investment banking work. But we didn't have uh, we didn't have bank branches there. And so and you, and you got all these through mere hard work, and not because you knew somebody somewhere. No, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know anybody. In fact, the the organization knows me more than I know them. Wow. That's that's what that's what you should do. The organization sets you up with objectives to achieve, and they only get to know you by how well you have achieved those objectives. So I think it's important. We should disabuse our minds of knowing somebody. Yes, you should know somebody to give you an opportunity. But thereafter, you know, you've got to, to prove, yourself. prove yourself constantly. And this organization, whether it's Standard Chartered Barclays or Standard Bank, these are very high-performing organizations that would want to know what you produce, not who you are. 
you know, who you are is actually what you produce and, you know, how you're able to gel, build teams, uh, use the teams to achieve results, improve yourself and improve other people. So, so it's not about you. Work is not about you. Work is about actually being part of a team, a constructive, strategic part of a team, achieving constant results and pushing the envelope all the time. Wow, um, this is where we're going to go for another quick breather. We'll come back and talk about the journey of the stomach bank and uh, other philanthropic things that Alaji is doing. You know, it's good to share, so they say, but it's very difficult to share. Um, we go for a very quick commercial break. We back shortly after and continue. But remember that Bonza Rural Bank Limited is a proud sponsor of my Northern Achiever. Do open an account with Bonza Lee and you'll never regret you do. We back shortly. Batman <laughs> I don't want to be a car. I need to iron bar to so bad. It's a bag. Cause when you're to us, was a rule about the right in one is no girl in Pishin Bella and a gym for so be into so amana to resort with the check at your Kumgar Alley. Zom Yum Yum, Pibonza Bank of Branch, Sheldon Brand, Baker, and your tomb to Naka, and the Telegadabu. Was a rule about my account in the common current account, savings account, salary account, Velma account, Hajj account, Zabuni account, corporate account, Abida and Shell account, and to pay fixed deposit account. Center lap on the bell will come an individual loan, salary loan, wash loan, microfinance group, salary advance, medium papai. Can I change one's a mail SMS alert, ATM, Carmel GH link, is rich, Western Union, the money gram, the Nutoka, Nilbe, Tom Giani, Cantos and Laren Tinaka, Cubans and Tigili, Apex link, can I change mobile money, Caruto, Cubans, a rural bank branch, a company, Toche, is on a mobile money account, Yellow, one's a mail branch in Kumbung, Tamale, Lamashao, Naya, Karga. Nyampala, Sang, Chalpone, Katuma Duzu Ola Lebe Kumbo Wa ima Bwaza Rural Bank Limited Tangal Mehimo Zoo Mosquito le la tunga Mvlengi mpane Mopoti nende nyabompi My Northern Achiever is proudly brought to you by Bwaza Rural Bank Limited Unity, Strength and Wow I am grateful to you for staying with me on my Northern Achiever. I am Abdul Jalil Nabi, the son of Musa Kumo. Today I am with uh, Na Alaji Dr. Alasan Andani, the MD of Stambik Bank and also the President of Ghana Association of Bankers. And um, interesting, intriguing conversation that we have. And if you've not learned anything from Alaji right up to now, I don't think you would ever learn anything from any other person. <laughs> now, let's come to now talk about the Stambik Bank journey. Now, what happened? Is it that you just woke up one day and you are like, no, there should be standing bank in Ghana? No, no, no. no. So I was actually in, um, I was actually in Johannesburg. Uh, I was working for Barclays Bank mm -hmm. in in Johannesburg, okay. and um, I think that was in either late May, the late uh, February. Okay. I, I got a call from. Somebody in a standard bank, standard bank that you didn't know that, that I didn't know. Wow. You say that, oh, are you and Daniel Asin? I said, Yes, oh, we had a reference from a man called Mr. Marcos Andrade. So, Marcos Andrade was the uh, was the director for corporate banking for standard bank for, for Barclays Africa, okay. and I worked under Marcos. Mm -hmm. So, Marcos had gone to standard, to standard, standard bank, bank as an advisor. Okay. So, they were looking for talented African bankers to grow their franchise in, Af in, in, in the rest of the continent because the Standard Bank is very large in South Africa. So they're looking for talent to try and help them grow their business in the African, on the African continent. So Marco said, I worked with uh, this person in, in Barclays. Give me a call and see whether he would like to have a conversation. So that's how I, I got called uh, for, for, for coffee. So I, I went across to wow. Standard Bank to meet wow. the then uh, Chief Executive for Standard Bank Africa mm -hmm. um, and um, Mr. Greg Brackenrich. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, he started to ask me about myself and 
what I was doing in, for Barclays then in South Africa. And, and at that time, Barclays had just acquired APSA. Mm -hmm. So we were trying to settle down uh, Barclays, APSA, and we had moved uh, to a new office called, I mean, in a department called APSA Capital. Okay. Uh, and that's where I was. So, uh, yeah, so we had a conversation and they said they wanted you know, to me to consider uh, an opportunity with them. So that's how I got into Standard Bank. Wow. So I was actually employed in, 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 in South Africa. Like, sometimes when I meet people like this, uh, they talk to me, I just get simply inspired. Whatever it is that you are doing, and you, if you are not, if you are lazy, and you think you are just being smart, you are doing yourself, so Absolutely. they will say. Yes. Because Absolutely. he received a call because he had worked under someone who was, who, who saw how hard working he is, and today he's the MD of Stambik Bank. Um, wherever you are, whatever it is that you are doing, your hard work is always going to pay. But let's come to now and talk about why the name Stambik and not Standard. So that's very interesting, and it's a good question you asked about uh, st why Stambik and not Standard. Bank. And that's that takes you back to the question you asked earlier: What's the difference between Standard Chartered? And st Standard Bank. So once upon a time, mm -hmm. Standard Bank was Standard Bank, yeah. and and so Standard, Standard Bank, Bank uh, Standard Bank in South Africa, Standard Bank in London, okay. and then as these uh, common shareholders, mm -hmm. and as they, they started to grow, um, Standard Bank London make acquisitions uh, of banks in Asia. And uh, Standard Bank South Africa okay. made acquisitions of banks in Africa, uh, out and some parts of some ANZ Greenlease mm -hmm. was a big Australian New Zealand bank, uh, which was selling off their assets in Africa. So Standard Bank South Africa acquired it, and Standard Bank London acquired okay. some banks in Asia, and um, so the Standard Bank in South Africa became Standard Bank, and the one in London became Standard Chartered. They had common shareholding and even common assets. I think the real split between Standard Bank and Standard Chartered was probably mid-90s, probably 95, you know, 95, 96, when it actually was completely separated. Now, in the, on the separation, the, name of, the use of the name Standard became a bit contentious. So Standard Chartered said, okay, wherever there was Standard Chartered, Standard Bank could not use the name Standard. So they then had Stambik, which stands for Standard Bank Investment Corporation. Mm. So that's where mm. Stambik comes from. Wow. Uh -huh. But where there is no Standard Chartered, we use the name Standard Bank. Wow. Yeah. So in South Africa, you use the name Standard Bank. Mm -hmm. In a few of the African countries where we operate without Standard Chartered, we use the name Standard Bank. But in the countries where we operate with Standard Charter, we use the name Stambik Bank. And you said the Stambik Bank, Stambik stands for? Standard Bank Investment Corporation. Okay, all right. Standard I think this, this is revealing. This is a great, uh, uh, you know, education that we are getting from, yes. from <laughs> Doctor. And uh, I, I, am, I am usually impressed with the way you took the bank, hmm. you know, from nowhere you came with Stambik Bank. And today it is one of the most you know what if not the best but one of the best in the country mm -hmm. how did you do it no so the thing the secret about standard standard bank excel stambik had been in ghana since 99. Okay. it came in i think yeah 1999 okay. uh, and bought into a small license mm -hmm. and standard bank itself had actually been in ghana as a 30 percent shareholder of merchant bank okay. and could not acquire merchant bank mm -hmm. so they sold their 30 percent and bought a license in 1999. Okay. So, yes, I, um, the groundwork, just trying to establish the fundamentals of a bank was done between 1999 and 2006 when I came in. Uh, yes, we had just, most people didn't know about Standard Bank because we had a branch in Accra, a branch in Kumasi, and an agency in the Tema Habo, uh, Fishing Habo. So that's all we had. Uh, but essentially, uh, the groundwork had been laid. So my duty was to take that uh, foundation and build on it. And uh, yeah, so from 2006, um, you know, from the humble beginnings of three branches, but a solid, solid uh, banking foundation laid. I must give credit to my predecessor, Stanley, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, those, um, Bill Thomas, and Jim Maven, who came in as MDs before me, uh, laid that kind of solid foundation. And then I took it from there. And once the foundation is solid, then you can actually build on, build it. on it. So it was um, 
And again, you had a group, you had a Standard Bank group that was really hungry for growth in Africa. Mm -hmm. Ghana was seen to be one of the fast growing sub Saharan African countries, mm -hmm. and they had a capital. Wow. So that's one advantage. The other advantage was, you know, I had operated in this country, SSB, Barclays, so I knew this market pretty well. Mm -hmm. I knew this market pretty, pretty well. So, you know, you had a shareholder who was ready to go, and you had market knowledge. So the two of it together was easy to, to cut through. And, and I must say that that's really been the impetus. And most importantly, to yeah. uh, the shareholders continuing to provide you the financing. Yeah. So even though we've, we've performed extremely well and made a lot of money, the shareholders didn't pay themselves dividends. They gave us the money to continue to reinvest. So that's why you see Standard Bank all over. And, and most importantly, we tried the very best we could to uh, attract the very best people. Uh, so again, the thing that works very, very well for Standard Bank, for myself, is the team that we've built. You know, we have a very high performing team. My, my leaders uh, are, are fabulous. And uh, I'm proud to say most of them are Africa talent. You know, before, before I went for my second commercial, I was talking about me calling you my bank, my governor of the Bank of Ghana. Yeah. You know, um, late in about 2015, 2016, there about, the position for Bank of Governor was up for grabs. And um, a lot of people thought you were the best in contention for such a position because of the, you know, the, the, your level of understanding of the economy and, you know, banking. You know, were you really in contention for the position? No, it's, this, not, this is not a job that you apply for. So it was not uh, open for you to make an application. Yes. But, so but, but, but were you being for sought it? for? Look here, yeah, it's history now, and I continue <laughs> to enjoy the job I, I, I'm doing. And uh, I'm president of the Association of Bankers. I've always had a fabulous relationship with the uh, people at the Bank of Ghana. But would you but accept, it's always humbling. Would, would you accept a position as the bank governor of the Bank of Ghana if you are approached to? Look, I mean, this is the job I've done all my life, and um, if if it was if there's really an opportunity to make a difference, why not? But I have, it's not a job, as I said. That Did you feel any bitterness that you weren't looked at? No, no. As I said, you didn't. They didn't advertise the job. Mm -hmm. They they didn't Nobody receive any applications. applications. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. So really, it's it's about it's about everybody having an opinion who they think is the best person for the job. But yeah, no, no bitterness. Well, I, hopefully, it I went, it went to a brother yes. and a son. <laughs> and so Absolutely. I think, I think it's, it's... And I've supported it's, all of them. Yes. I've supported there, there, there's been a lot of questions on social media. Uh, but before then, my executive producer wants me to ask you about um, that you usually are someone who would want to see you want you, you are somebody who helps a lot everybody knows about that you are a philanthropist and you want usually to see someone trying to do something and the person is doing it it's a work in progress yes. that you push up yes. so that at least it can grow why that mentality and why not people who doesn't maybe i've just come with an idea then you push me look ideas and First of all, development must be owned for people to develop. You own that your own idea. You, you are prepared to put your skin to the game. So when, when you get the push, it actually accelerates you. So as for ideas, a lot of people can come and talk really good talk. Who is prepared to put him, himself in harm's way? To actually step away to try to implement your idea is putting yourself in harm's way. It's, you don't know whether to succeed or not. So if you prepare to, you know, take your own risk and anything I can do, I would, I would help you. Wow. So the person who has just ideas bubbling and the person who's actually put ideas into practice and prepared to put his or his, his skin on the, on, 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 in, in the way, wow. um, I, I would go for that. that. There's this question from a lawyer fan, Yumza Idi on Facebook, and he says, um they've been waiting eagerly for this particular interview and so but the question they have he has i don't know as whether he's a he or a she is that how what does it take to be financially disciplined it's it's um it's a lot of common sense mm -hmm. never never spend what you have in end wow. 
Don't overspend what you have earned. It's a very simple formula. And I say that finance is so simple. If anybody explains finance to you more than five minutes, no matter how complicated, more than five minutes, if you don't understand it, it's fraudulent. Wow. Yes. The most complicated financial like transaction. Like the story. concept of it yeah. should be so simple mm. that you should be able to explain it to somebody in five minutes, the person will understand. Wow. If you take more than five minutes, it's, it's fraudulent. And, and the route to financial security is just ensure that if you're earning 100 CDs, you are not spending 110 CDs. Mm. It's as simple as that. If you haven't earned 100 CDs, do not spend 100 CDs. The best of it is to say, whatever I get today, something must be put aside. Something must be put aside. No matter, you know, and sometimes we think that it's somebody who is earning a thousand CDs, even somebody who's earning a million CDs, probably has just elevated his spending to a million point one. And you might think that he's, but he doesn't have a million CDs, and he's a pauper. Mm. And somebody who is spending, earning a hundred CDs, and knowing that, look, I have to set 20 CDs for the rainy day. And before he realizes, when he doesn't have it, he probably has saved five, six years of his income so he can live on it. So, you know, we should all walk away from what people often say, you are as, uh, you are as poor as your last paycheck. So for some people, the last paycheck doesn't come and he's in trouble. That is financial management disaster. Now, Fashel Ibrahim Abdullahi has a question and he says that has Africa and, and particularly Ghana have what it takes to be to come out of poverty? More than what it takes. More than what it takes. I think what's holding them us back is simply greed and bad leaders. What is holding us back is greed and bad leaders. We have much, much more than what it takes to get out of poverty. Listen, if all the world, whether it's America, US, all of them take their natural resources, the mineral resources from here, from Africa, mm -hmm. oil, minerals, everything they take it out of Africa. Yeah. Like, there are lots of countries who haven't got a third of the kind of resources Africa has. So what's keeping us behind is just bad leadership, greed, and, so, and we so don't understand, why? we don't understand that uh, wealth is in the collective. Wealth is not in the singular. Mm. Wealth is in the collective. But unfortunately, most of us are oriented to think that wealth is in the singular. Wealth is in the collective. So you come to East Legon and you think that, oh, this is a wealthy neighborhood. It's not this house. It's every other house you've seen. That makes it a wealthy neighborhood. Okay, so wealth is not in the singular. It's in the collective. And our leaders should understand that. So amassing it for yourself alone, you're just living in a village. This doctor, <laughs> I don't know where he's coming from. I don't, honestly don't know where he's coming from myself. <laughs> I believe you have to go for a PhD. It's, it's not too late. Because you have done so much for yourself. Yeah. You've done so well in the sector. Yeah. To an extent that we even forget that you are not a doctor. You know. Wow. But then let's take your final words yeah. to everybody watching right about now. What do you have to tell the whole world, especially the Ghanaian youth? I'd like to say to the Ghanaian youth, especially during this, um, uh, uh, number one, during election year, we've done well as a country. We have a lot of international respect in the sense that we have been able, through our national evolution, to gain respectability of being able to choose our leaders uh, you know, during election, whether it's parliamentarian or president, very peacefully. We actually, we are actually a beacon in Africa. We are an example in Africa. So even as we go into another election, I would want to employ the youth and, and all the people politicking that we should do our damnedest to maintain that proud, uh, you, you know, record. record that we've built for ourselves. It is really a stellar, uh, achievement when you travel out and you're a Ghanaian. We, we have that kind of respect. So we should continue to make sure that it's about development, it's about choice, and it's about the ability to change uh, anytime you want to change through a, an agreed process. The other thing I like to say is COVID or this coronavirus has revealed structural weaknesses in the world, the way the world economy is structured, the way the, I mean, our own economy is structured. And to say to the Ghanaian youth, the time is now to take 
the destiny of this country into their own hands and recalibrate it in a manner that we are in control of what we eat, what we wear, what we do, ICT, everything. I mean, what you guys are doing, uh, it's, it's, it's fabulous. And we should be proud of that and put our own uh, best foot forward in literally every sector. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't sit down and be looking at any greener pastures. There's absolutely no greener pastures anywhere. I have literally been to every part of the world, and I can tell you the opportunities that exist now in Africa, that exist in Ghana, don't exist anywhere else. If you go somewhere else, you're actually going to have a misfit because they've got skills that they are looking to employ. We've got opportunities looking for people to take opportunities. Mm -hmm. So I would encourage us to rethink and to take advantage of the opportunities created by the need for us in Ghana, in Africa, to be self-sufficient in, 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 in our economic endeavors and, and to take advantage in those areas. Wow, this is incredible. But I don't know, would you like to say hello to anybody? Well, I'd like to, to say hello and um popish for them. Okay. 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 Well, thank you so very much for always remaining loyal with me on my Northern Achiever on Sagani TV. Um, my greatest shout outs would go to Yab Olana today because he's done a lot of work to get it as a Yab uh, uh, Olana. Uh, my uh, uh, gratitude also goes to uh, Mr. Bangaham Ganyu and also Honorable uh, Nato Amanat for their efforts, uh, including uh, Mr. Abu, Mr. Abu Bakar. Uh, they are here in Accra and when we came, in fact, they were those who were able to just ambush, uh, you know achieve for us and we are so grateful for the honor you have done us and for all of you watch, watching from home I believe that whatever it is that chief has said we have learned a lot from him let's put all of these things that he said into practice and um, probably with time we will still come back to chief and take some more admonishments from him and you know maybe we'll be able to learn a lot a lot more from him than we have done today until I come your way again next week my name is Abdul Jalil Nabil. I am a son of Musa Kumo. Keep watching Sagana TV. Keep supporting my Lord and Achiever. And keep being good. Bye-bye for now.